Hi everybody, my name is Sylvia Pincaro. I am Moon Coach, the creatrix of Moon Coaching and many other lunar astrology and tarot related metaphysical programs. And um, I'd like to invite you to a wonderful and fun one month program, approximately a month, uh, over at my friend Wasima's group, Study Tarot in 21 Days on Facebook. So first of all, let me just say that this group is going to be a free group in which we're sharing. There's actually going to be four of us, Wasima, Lucy, and Tara, and myself, Moon Coach, a number of prompts related to different themes over the course of the month of June 2019, in which we're going to have you participate, um, pull cards, your oracle cards, and in some cases, tarot cards and then share the insights you receive according to the prompts that we share with you. So each one of us has a week in which we will guide you through a particular themed process. Mine, of course, being a professional astrologer, will be based on astrology. <clears throat> now, all of my prompts and the things that I'll be sharing with you are based on um, my programs, or some combination of my program. So these are excerpts that I'll be sharing with you, which come from my moon coaching, my celestial archetypes, archetypal astrology, um, tarot mystery school, elements of alchemy, so on and so forth. Those of you that know me know where to go to find me. <laughs> so anyways, first of all, thanks to Wasima for inviting me to be part of this. And my particular week will be, let's see, it's June 22nd, will be my first prompt for a week, and then I will, top it off uh, as on, let's see, on June 29th. And um, I'll be going deeper into the astrological plus oracle tarot uh, themes that I will have presented the week prior. <clears throat> so Wasim asked me to put together a little um, video here to show you some decks that you might want to consider. Let me make sure that I've covered, ah yes, so many of you have already asked about astrology themed decks. And for the type of questions, prompts, and journaling that I'll be posting for you as inspiration that week, I don't really suggest astrology themed decks. You can choose that, and I am prepared. I've got about 50 decks in front of me of my like 900 decks that I have, because I am a collector and teacher. I teach with this material. Um, but I really don't think that it's the best way because those decks are probably best used for teaching yourself astrology or learning some aspects of it. I highly suggest learning astrology with a teacher one-on-one. -on -one. one workshop is not going to cut it. Reading books doesn't cut it. You really need to experience it. Um, but that's a bit of an aside note. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the astrology themed decks. But again, that's not my suggestion. After I show you those, I will in fact show you uh, decks that I think are probably a little bit better suited for what we're gonna do together. All right, so some of these might be out of print. You might be able to still find them on eBay and Amazon through third-party sellers. Uh, and I'm not gonna open them all because I've got 50 decks and I'm not gonna go through all of them, so I'm just gonna quickly go through some. So we have the Enchanted Astrologer from the Zerner, uh, Farber Zerner team. And that's a collage style deck. Then we have from an actual professional astrologer, Liz Green, psychological astrologer out of the UK who's magnificent. This is definitely out of print, uh, Mythic Astrology, and it's just a beautiful deck and book. Again, remember, these are great for learning aspects of it. <clears throat> they're not really oracular cards, even though they're called oracles. Another one that's sadly out of print is Astrology for Lovers. Well worth getting. This one's an absolutely gorgeous deck. Linda Goodman who was probably one of the foremost astrologers, I think, back in the 70s. Um, I was a little newborn, but she was the first person that I read back in the day. So Linda uh, Goodman Star Signs. And this one actually you could use. This is a great one if you have it or if you can manage to find a way to get it. Uh, this one's actually really good. It's a combination of astrology and numerology, which she taught, and it's gorgeous. <clears throat> find a place to put these down. Now this one is now in print. Um, astrology reading cards. 
and who's Lambert and Crooks. So this one, uh, let me just open it since it is in print and it's something that you guys can get. But you see it'll have things like the first house, it'll have the houses, um, it'll have the planets, of course the signs, and it will have little questions for you. So let's say Jupiter your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. So it's giving you key ideas, a key concept related to the particular archetype. Um, let's look at the 12th house. This is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you could play with this when you could include it. It's just not gonna yield the kind of answers that I'm looking for you to get and with the particular prompts that I've designed for you. But again, since you guys asked, another one that's out of print, Judy Hall, the Zodiac Pack. These are square cards and it's magnificent. Um, let me find one that's in print. Black Moon Astrology Cards by Susan Shepard. We'll open this one again since it is in print. Beautiful graphics. <clears throat> Libra, I balance. Fourth house, roots. North node, life's purpose. So, um, again, this is great for studying and for laying. I would lay these out on uh, the board, your desk, your sacred space, your altar, and then pull the oracle cards around it. And I'll explain more about that in a separate video because that is what I'm gonna have you guys do. Okay, I think enough on the, no, not true, let me see. Here's another one that's in print. This is astrological oracle cards. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, it's a Louis Garabale. Again, not necessarily an oracle deck at all, um, but you can certainly get this and work with it. Uh, anyways, there's, there's many, many different astrology themed decks. It just depends on what you're gonna wanna use them for. At some point in one of my off Facebook groups, I'll be going much more in depth with that, those decks. Uh, but for the purposes of this particular journey, this particular experience and study tarot 21 day summer school, we're going to focus on the astrology in a slightly different way. So what is my suggestion? My suggestion is to find decks that speak to you. Something that you, even if you haven't yet worked with it, but somehow when you pick it up and you hold it to your heart, there's a resonance, you know, you're, it, it calls to you. And you guys know what I mean because you've already been working with this material. So let me give you some ideas of what would be a great deck, maybe cosmic in orientation, there's this one called, wow, I can't read this, Stellar Helkinen. Stellar Helkinen. Let me see if I can give you more information in case this one resonates for you, because this one is definitely worth it. <clears throat> Actually, it's Stellar is the name of it, by Helkanen, H-E-L-C-A-N-E-N. And it's from www.helkanen.be. So the book itself gives you a lot of information. Let me show you a couple of the cards. And it's very beautiful, soft, cosmic type of artwork. Let's see here, dimension gate. Another dimension can be scary, but fear not to pass the gate to reach the place you belong to. A different world where your dream lies. Just go. And that's what this one's here. 
So let's try another one, Galaxy Core. Your body and soul are one, harmony, peace, unity, meditation, refocus, clear any bad energy, focus on the positive, the beauty of life. So this is the kind of guidance if you need to have it written down, aside from, of course, the guidance just intuitively from looking at an image. Um, let's see, what's a good one to, you know, you see this one, this huge eye with the cosmos and it's called cosmos. And, you know, what will that bring to mind if not to open your vision, to look at the greater perspective, to shift your perspective, maybe to be more inclusive, um, to find uh, answers in the greater, in the, with a greater view, an overview of things. That's what I see when I see an eye like this. Different vision. Your soul is open to a totally new perception. Feel the greatness of the universe. Some things will look more important than others. So this is the kind of uh, response that I hope you'll get in relation to the astrology prompts that I'll be posting in the group. I don't want to tell you what they are ahead of time, so you'll just have to join the group if you're not already part of it. Um, and tune in starting June 1st for uh, Wasima. I think Lucy's on the second week, starting the, the 8th. Tara is on starting the third week, so the 20, um, yeah, the 20, no, the uh, first through the 7th, 7th through the 14th, 14th through the 21st is Tara and then myself from the 22nd through the end of the month. So tune in, join, and let me give you a few more examples. <clears throat> I only intended to have this video be like 10 minutes. Okay, here's another great one. Cosmic reading cards. Again, these sort of like beautiful cosmic looking artwork. So let's take a look. Limitless. And limitless will say, let's see what number that is, 20. To give you an idea in case it resonates where you don't have this, so you can order it. Don't conform to the beliefs of others. Live your own truth and share this with the world with love. Um, and it has an affirmation, which I'm very big into affirming astrological transits and aspects and challenges and opportunities that you may be going through. I am ready to create life. I'm sorry. I am ready to create a life of my own choosing. So again, this is just a perfect deck for what I'll be walking you through. That is the Cosmic Reading Cards by Nadi Anastasia. Blue Messiah, which I actually just got yesterday. Same artist, so you're going to see that there's um, a similar flavor in terms of the artwork. Also very cosmically oriented. Lots of blues, which is very peaceful. Blue is a color of peace and healing. Self-love. Let's take a look at something. Gives you a little exercise. This is great because I'm also very big in experiential learning. So in my classes such as Celestial Archetypes and Moon Coaching, uh, Tarot Mystery School, etc., I always have everybody, all the participants, um, have actual experiences in which you can actually integrate the message, the lesson, the teaching. So I like that this one offers an exercise. This one would be for the heart chakra. Look in the mirror and tell yourself how much you love you. Love and acceptance from others starts with love and acceptance of you. So certainly this is one that I would recommend for the astrological portion of our month-long journey. One of my favorites is Art Through the Star Stream Oracle. And there's two. There's Art Through the Star Stream Oracle, and from the same series, Art Through the Eyes of the Soul Oracle. These are both in print currently. The artist is Cheryl Yambrock Rose. And these are very feminine, very beautiful. Of course, my magdalene. And 
So these will say, go forward and leave the past behind. Here's another great one. Think outside the flock. So this one is perfect for what we'll be doing as well. Your goal is within reach. Very goal oriented, in case you guys don't know me. And of course the book is very jam packed with information. Um, and that gives you an idea on the astrology theme decks, the cosmic oracle decks that I personally think are just some good ideas. Let's see, I will have, uh, my prompts will be related to each of the planets. So for example, when we work on the moon, I'm going to encourage you to have uh, to work on that day, perhaps with a deck that, let me put this aside, sacred space. I'll talk to you guys about that in just a minute. Um, so when we work on the moon prompts, I'd like for you guys to work with decks that are about self-care. So here's one that I recently got on a trade, Sacred Self-Care Rituals by Tatiana Vedenkina. Simple instructions on self-care. Take a bath. Take a walk. Connect with crystals. Alone time. You'll understand what I mean by working with self-care debts when I get into the prompt that relates to the moon, which of course my being moon coach and lunar priestess and all things lunar related, um, it's gonna be a very big deal that day when we work with the moon. Another fabulous self-care deck is My Quality Time Self-Care Activity Deck by the wonderful Deja Osborne. And I totally love her decks. <clears throat> Let me see here. This one say list. So obviously this one will be about making lists, um, which helps you to organize yourself. Uh, this one, oops, nature. So the suggestion would needless to say, you go out and spend some time in nature. Here's a fun one. <clears throat> Treat, <laughs> certainly. Uh, maybe pick up some wonderful fruits, organic of course, and treat yourself to a healthy snack. Uh, it's just beautiful artwork and really loving, gentle suggestions for self-care. So this will be one that I certainly recommend. And um, she produced that on Kickstarter, but you'll be able to find it on her website. It's still in print. Vessel is another one that is still in print. And it's from the Spirit Speak series on Etsy. And things like change, structure, anxiety. So maybe if we pull that one, it might be something to do with um, clearing anxiety, endurance. So let's see, I think that gives you an idea on decks that feel nourishing and uh, nurturing, very healing. One last one along those lines of self-care that's very feminine, not just the moon, but we can also look at decks that feel very feminine for when we work with Venus, that part. Um, I have a wonderful deck from an Argentine artist. So this one is in Spanish for my fellow Spanish speakers. This is Oráculo de la Mujer Sagrada, uh, the Sacred Woman Oracle. That's what the cover looks like. And they used to be round. I've never been able to get a hold of the, her original round deck, unfortunately, but my father picked this one up in Argentina directly from the artist. And ooh, it is. Let's see, I'm looking for her name. 
So I have to post it. Akata, Monica Gluckman. Monica Gluckman, the artist. So this one is, for example, birth, parto, birth. And it does say it in English. Ah, uh -uh. you know what? I take it back. It, it may be from Argentina and Spanish originally, but she's now included it with translations directly on the card. So birth is um, the original force. Life always opens itself a path and it is related to fire. So this one, um, here's another one, which is Veils, Velos. <clears throat> Guardian of the Feminine Mysteries. I protect my treasures. So this one is absolutely gorgeous, bird woman. And uh, if you are interested in, in international decks, that's gonna be one of my specialties within one of my alternate websites. As you guys might know, I have like 50 or 100 websites. <laughs> so that one, um, if you are interested in, in international decks, other languages, let me know. I'd be happy to help. I'll be carrying a lot of them in my store. Okay, what else do I need to cover? I did the cosmic text, looking at my list. Um, ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, there'll be one day where we're gonna focus on the elements. So there are actually not a lot of elemental card-themed decks. Uh, there are more that feel watery, others that are more earthy. So kind of go with your gut on this one. The only real elemental where all the elements are present that is in, it's actually out of print, but it's still available. It's called Body Balance. And um, it'll have things like for earth, nourishment. I choose simple natural foods that nourish me. I nourish myself naturally. <clears throat> Let's look at something from water. So they're more of affirmations than they are picture or cards. Water, soothing. I can think positive thoughts and nurture myself to make myself feel better. I can soothe myself. So that is uh, the Body Balance Cards by Kathleen Risks Goro. And I just checked on Amazon and there are still some decks available and I'm sure you can probably go to her website. The other elemental deck is my own. So this is the Elements of Alchemy and that actually is the name of one of my courses and websites at elementsofalchemy.com. The elements are the building blocks to everything. So uh, my divination system includes a book that covers a lot of the material, and then the second part is a journal or a playbook, what I like to call playbook. And this is the deck itself. <clears throat> and this is all my own photography, and it's dedicated to all of the elements. And again, it's designed, I designed it to be a very experiential process uh, because in the end, it's all about what you experience. It's not about what any teacher, facilitator, author tells you. It's about you being inspired by our words or by our images or by our ideas and then you going out and experiencing it in your own life. So that's how I teach my courses, and that's how I intend to facilitate my week during this particular uh, event. Okay, let's see, did I cover all that? Um, let me give you a couple more decks that I know we'll be using. This one just recently got is called The Roots and Wings. I've only seen it in some of the tarot groups. Uh, just very few posts on this but it absolutely is gorgeous. And I really think that this one deserves to be seen and to be utilized. Look at this one. It's called Community. And certainly we intend, the four facilitators of this month process, to create a sense of community that honors uh, nature, which Wasim is gonna cover, the, the fairies, the trees, um, magic and manifestation with Lucy, 
uh, and I believe that Tara is going to be working with the fairies. And so it's going to be a lot of fun creating this online community over the course of the month and considering, and of course myself, astrology, how we can um, play together and learn from each other. Because as you put up your own cards with your own insights in response to the prompts that we post, we're going to be teaching each other. We're learning from each other's experiences. And oftentimes, we find that we pull the exact same cards. I've seen it happen time and time again. So there is a collective community, a collective consciousness that we're building within these groups. Uh, anyway, so that's what just came up for me as I saw that card <laughs> for this particular group. Oh, here's another one that is in print. Probably going overboard on the time. Um, Crystal Medicine Oracle. I love round cards. They're my favorite. My own cards that I'm designing will, in fact, be round, very lunar, very astrological. But this deck has a lot of the elements in it. <clears throat> Celebration, Red Jasper, Sacred Ceremony. Malachite, sacred healing. Medicine drum. <clears throat> um, soul retrieval, middle world. So another great one to work with, at least for my portion. And let me see if there's anything else. I have 50, but I really don't want to go through all 50 decks. Now, last point is for the workshop, I will be going into your charts. If you're gonna sign up for the workshop, which is $15 for any one of our four workshops, or three for 45, which is a great deal because all of us are gonna be discussing things with you for about 90 minutes and we're gonna go deeper than what the free prompts and group do. Um, for mine, it will be very important that you have one tarot deck as well as your oracle cards, because I will be going into uh, parts of the charts. That's what I'll be actually introducing you to throughout the week, is what in your chart can you get to know a little bit better by pulling these cards. But in the workshop, we go deeper. So for that one, it will be very important that you have um, a, a tarot deck, because I'll, give you, I'll be giving you the assignations of, you say, your son, um, card. How, I mean, your sun sign related to which tarot card? For example, I'm a Pisces sun, so the correlated tarot card is actually the moon card. Um, if you're a Taurus sun sign, then your card is going to be the Hierophant. If you are a, uh, a Libra, it'll be the Justice card, and so on and so forth. So you'll need to have that as well. So have a tarot deck. Uh, here are some ideas. Tarot, I'm sorry, Daughters of the Moon tarot. I think you can get this directly from the artist, Fiona Morgan, I, or it may be out of print. I don't know what the status is on that deck. <clears throat> but we'll only be working with the major arcana cards in the workshop or even in the prompts if you end up choosing that, but just to give you an idea of the artwork. Okay, so that's the Daughters of the Moon Tarot. <clears throat> Another great one, this was an independent deck, um, of course, by our beautiful friend, Benabel Well. When, I'm sorry. And this one immediately went out of print, but she has a new edition that she just created, and I think the new one is in all colors. But this is a very alchemical deck. It is very astrological. It is very magical. Let me see if I can pull one of the majors here to show you. Here. 
This one is the star. Did I pull the right one? Yes, this is the equivalent of the star, which you call in this deck the healer. And this one, of course, pertains to the sign Aquarius. So for you Aquarians, you're going to be holding out this deck during the workshop along with the cards that you end up pulling. So uh, definitely an incredibly powerful deck. I mean, wow, is this one really powerful? The Spirit Keeper's Tarot. Another one <clears throat> which is kind of cosmic in orientation is the Star Tarot by Kathy McLeland. And uh, just as a quick example, here's the hanged one, the equivalent of the hangman. And this one pertains, this is the 12th card, number 12, key 12 of the major arcana, which relates to the planet Neptune, which rules the sign Pisces. Um, just a few more cards. Okay. I think I'm going to show you one more round deck. The Gorgon's Tarot. Here's Temperance, key 14 of the Major Arcana, which relates to the sign of Sagittarius, which is my moon sign. <laughs> Here's the Empress, which relates to Venus. So that gives you an idea on the Gorgon's Tarot, which is one of my absolute favorite decks. And lastly, I'll share with you one that's a combination of Tarot and Oracle. This one is the Light Gray Art Lab Cosmos Tarot and Oracle deck. Boy, I'm going to have a fun time putting all these decks back. So it comes with a little guidebook, and it has signs. As planets, I think some of the asteroids. It has the elements. Oops. And uh, constellations. But by the way, I am a tropical astrologer. And that's an important piece to know. I think, let me take a good look around here. I think that might be it. So let me see in my notes. So I've covered the elemental decks. I've covered the moon decks, uh, astrology decks, some cosmic type decks. And um, I've introduced you to the idea that we're going to be working with your charts. Oh, very important for those of you that are participating in the workshop please, please, please make sure that you send me your birth data as I'll be preparing your copy of your needle charts to work with during the workshop. It's really important. So you send me your name, of course, your full birth date, the city, state, country of your birth, and the exact birth time, preferably from an official document, such as a birth certificate. The timing of your landing on Sweet Gaia is what creates the mathematical precision of astrology. So if you do not have an exact birth time, if it's a guess from your mom, an estimate or something, please include that in your email to me so that I know that we may be off. Uh, my email will be that you send this to Sylvia, spelled S-I-L-V-I-A, S-I-L-V-I-A, no lies, you change my numerology, at moon, M-O-O-N, coach, C-O-A-C-H, dot com. Sylvia at mooncoach, dot com. So your name, date, place, and exact time of birth, and if that comes from an official document or if it's a gift. Um, I will, for those of you that are not going to do the workshop but still want to play along in the daily prompt that week with me, go ahead and email me. I'll still send you the information. Um, but there'll be a 24 to 48 hour uh, turnaround. Do not wait until the last minute. If I start on the 22nd, 
and you want to do this, if you want a copy of your chart, please do not wait till the 22nd because I won't be able to do it. I won't have time. I need you to do it between now and let's call the cutoff time the 20th. Okay, so by June 20th, if you want a copy of your prenatal chart and you are in the group, you must be a member of Wasima's group on Facebook and participating in this, then I will get you a free copy of your chart. And let's see what else we need to cover. Let me look at my notes. All right. Um, so use as many Oracle decks as you feel inspired to. Uh, pick ones that really resonate for you. It does not have to be an actual astrology deck. I prefer that you not use those because it will confuse you. Um, and da da da. I'll post another video and uh, additional instructions before we begin my section of the program that month. Now, aside from the cards that you choose, Right, and having a nice pretty journal, of course. I'm an interior designer by, by trade. It's one of my professional background um, pieces. Uh, sacred space, in combination with the fact that I'm a shamanic practitioner, is really important. So from a, an aesthetic perspective, as well as from an energetic perspective, it's important to create the kind of space for yourself when you're gonna be doing this kind of work that creates the right mindset that creates a certain frequency or vibration around you. And sometimes we do, do need the external to inspire the inner parts of us to align, you know, body, mind, soul, spirit, personality, the whole nine yards. So, you know, having a candle, you know, bringing the elements, so a candle for the elements of fire. Uh, you saw that I had smoke billowing, you know, now it's done, but incense, for air, um, air could also be, of course, secret sound. Well, that's interesting, but it ends just as the song is. <laughs> um, and of course, water, uh, earth. Have a cup of a vase with water and a flower. Whatever makes your space feel sacred to you that will inspire you as you do these daily prompted um, journaling exercises, not just with me during my astrology week, when we do the astro tarot, astro oracle prompts, but also in the prior three weeks. Um, when we go into all the other themes that my sisters in the group, uh, Lucy, Tara, and Wasima will be doing. And so definitely that. And what else do I need to say? So if you have any questions regarding what decks to play with during, during the Astrology Week, please feel free to contact me. You know where to find me, Moon Coach, Sylvia Pincaro. You can either find me as Moon Coach or Moon Coach Sylvia Pincaro or Moon Coaching. I'm in there in every way. Um, call, uh, contact Wasima, of course, her group. And if you're not a member, here's the name of the group specifically. is called Study a Tarot in 21 Days. Join it if you're not a member yet. It is free. The weekly prompts are free. And like I said, only the workshops in which we go a little deeper are an incredibly nominal cost of $15 or $3 for $45. Um, and all of us, all of us facilitators of these uh, weekly guided prompts and the workshops offer additional deeper classes and play shops like myself. It's always based on the moon, the moon phases, um, astrological and natural cycles, uh, and blending it in with tarot and oracles. So you'll see that I'll be posting my links as well. And all my buddies who are co-facilitating, who I've mentioned, they also have additional things that they offer. So please support everybody. And uh, yeah, so uh, actually, let me go ahead and give you, I'm on Instagram as moon, at Moon Coaching, here on Facebook as Moon Coach, Moon Coaching, The Moon Coach, etc. cetera. And, um, and uh, oh yeah, let me just share with you. 
I'm the author and creator of Moon Coaching. I produce this book every year. Uh, and I think that's it. Do you have any questions? And if you want to send me the birth info and you're part of the group and you're going to be participating every day with us, then I will get you a copy of your free astrology chart to work with. And that email is sylvia, S-I-L-V-I-A, at mooncoach.com. My uh, websites are mooncoach.com, mooncoaching.com, uh, tarotmysteryschool.com, celestialarchetypes.com, lunarjourney.com, et cetera, et cetera. You know where to find me, guys. All right. Namaste. Love you. See you very soon. Remember, I'll be on starting the 22nd of June. Bless you all.